Hello out there, universe. Smarty Bros here, and today we're going to take a look at shaders in Minecraft Realms. As you can see here, I have a shader pack running, and to prove that it is on Realms, I'm going to disconnect from my Realm server and rejoin it. And there we are. And we'll get back into first person mode here. I was a little bit laggy right now because I am running off my MacBook Pro and I am running a screen recording capture and this. It does take a lot of toll on everything. You can see by some of the specs allocated on the screen there. So, anyway, as you can see here, we got the nice water, we got the nice sun. We got the nice clouds, got the nice shadows, got the moving elements, got my nice house. <laughs> anyway, got all sorts of nice things going on. Nice water, nice moving roses, and all sorts of nonsense here. Maybe look out the window and we'll see what's out there. Yep, some more houses down there. Definitely brightens up the place. Anyway, so I spent the better part of like five hours last night trying to figure out how to get shaders onto my Minecraft Realm server. Now the one I really care for is just the water. I like shadows and it makes everything pretty and beautiful, but honestly I just care about water. Now this one isn't as nice as the one I was using, which I'll show you guys what it was again. We have CUDA shaders, which is the one that seems to currently work the best with realms. I still haven't been able to figure out how to get Sonic Ether's unbelievable shaders to work yet. It, uh, it yeah, it just doesn't work. If it, If I do try to pop it open, and maybe some of you out there know something better than what I know. But this is what usually happens. I get all these errors and a funky psychedelic corner going on. Where I don't know why. I'm just not tech savvy enough to know. Oops, backed out of there. Anyway, but spent the better part of five hours last night trying to figure out how does one get it on there. I searched the web high and low and it seemed like versus around April of last year the information trail went cold. Either everybody knows how to do it or uh, or they just gave up. So there was lots of different talk about oh you need to do Forge and then you gotta do Optifine and then you gotta do this and then you gotta do that. So I'm just going to show you what I did to get what I wanted for my Minecraft Realm server. It's actually fairly easy. There's not much one has to do to get it to work. So I'm going to hop off and we're going to go over to my desktop view and we're going to take a little look at what I did. All right. So we will uh, catch you there in a second. All right, everybody. Here we are on my desktop view. We're going to check out what we need to do to get um, shaders for your Minecraft realms. So a lot of this is going to just start fresh, but I'm not going to go over everything. Most people already know how to download Minecraft by going to the Minecraft.net website, purchasing and then downloading Minecraft, so forth and so on. Then 
There's m other tutorial videos out there how to find your Minecraft folder. I'm just going to be showing you how to get shaders to work. Now a lot of this requires your shaders mods to be up to date with the most current running version of Minecraft. Some do not. Um, but like I said, I just found the way that worked for me to get what I wanted to have happen. So, um, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start fresh. So I'm going to take Minecraft. I'm just going to delete everything off of there. And actually I'm going to open it back up so you can just see what it looks like when it boots up. So I'm going to go open Minecraft. And this should work for his PC as well as Mac. So it's just going to look a little bit different versus how you do it. Alright. So of course you're going to want to log into your own account blur out mine so you can't see it alright so first thing you're gonna wanna do after you've downloaded minecraft and you've booted it up you're gonna wanna boot it all the way up fully just so it downloads all the files that you need for minecraft so right now it's downloading all the little nicks and necks for the file folders and We'll be good to go here in a second. I might just skip forward until it's done since it is taking its time to get there. Alright, Minecraft is down now done downloading all of its stuff. It's just finishing its last boot up. By the way, the texture pack that I use for my Minecraft worlds is called DokuCraft. So um, be sure to look that up. I just happen to like that one the best out of any texture pack. But hey, if there's another texture pack you think is really cool, hit me up and maybe I'll go check it out. Alright, so now that we got Minecraft loaded up, we're simply going to just quit the game. You're going to want to go download the latest version of the Optifine installer. Now, you can do this multiple ways. I guess if I was going to, I could just boot it up and we can go Optifine, open, and, and go there. So you can go there. I also downloaded though the most up to date which one is B2 this one is B1 you'll get to add fly you'll just need to wait a few seconds till the skip ad comes about but it'll be in the center of these other ads but like I said the one that I have downloaded I went to their actual website or I just typed in the Google search bar Optifine 1.9.2 HDU B2.jar and once you get that to your desktop or into your download folder, I just like to pull everything to my desktop. Simply going to open that up. You're going to install. And once it's done installing, you're good to go. You'll want to go back to Minecraft. Open Minecraft back up. And you'll notice down here in your profile, you will found that you had your your username profile, and now you have an Optifine profile. Simply have Optifine selected, which it should already be already. It's ready to play Minecraft 1.9.2, which is the current most running Minecraft for me today. And it's going to download everything. going to run a little bit faster than it did the first time. <laughs> Alright, now that it's done booting, it should give me the Mojang logo. It's going to look a little funny and glitchy. Which it will mention that in the Optifine downloads, things are kind of still glitchy here and there. But um, anyway, you can simply go down to Options, Video Settings, and then you will find that you have shaders.
Now it's going to tell you, please set performance to fast render to off. So go to performance, fast render, off. Done. Now one thing I will do while I'm here is I'm going to go turn down my music. All right. Now from there you can simply go to your shaders folder which has been created. I'll also show you how you can quickly access that. Simply go to options, video settings, shaders, and then open shaders folder. Should bring up where your shaders folder is located in your computer and from there it's very easy. I have here my little folder of shaders that I found to be working except for Sonic Ethers still does not seem to be working for some reason. I don't know if that's something that requires Forge to work, but I can never get Forge and Optifine to load up. So from there, I simply go to copy that and paste the items in. Now, as far as it goes for some of these shaders, they do require them to be zipped. You'll need to make sure you look at that in the description. Some of them will tell you that, some of them will not, so you may need to try both. If one of your packs becomes unzipped, you can simply take it and somewhere on here, compress shaders, and it should bring it back into shaders that zip. However, sometimes it doesn't keep the name, so it may not work still. So I just like to keep it like that. Usually all my zip files end up going into the trash bin, so you just need to pull them back out. All right, from there, we can check to see if the shaders are there, and they are. Just to back out and show that again, we are in the main menu, options, video settings, shaders, and voila. And then from there, to prove that it does work, here we go, Minecraft Realms, here's my Minecraft server, play. Let's make this a big screen. It might take it a while to boot up. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I think it all relies on your internet speed. All right, so here we are. Options, video settings, shaders. Let's pop open CUDAs. Make sure I selected it. I think it's taking it a second to kind of just boot up its shaders this time. Got a horse outside my house. All right, it looks like the mood lighting has started. All right, we're out in the world. Let's see if I can't take off. And we have shaders running on Minecraft Realms. Got your nice beautiful water. Go swim in it, do whatever. Like I said though, depending on your computer specs, you may not be able to run this properly. I don't have recommendations, I'm not that intelligent to tell you what those should be. Others can though. But like I said, I mainly wanted my water to look a little bit nicer. So I found an only water shader pack, which still allows me to use everything and it runs smoothly. Gives me that nice kind of reflective surface. Water's a little darker, but going in it is nice and pretty. Check out our Minecraft world here. All right, so see if I can get to the front of the camera. That is all I have for you today. Hide myself in a bush. So uh, thank you for watching my channel. Check out later for more videos. And uh, hey, why not hit the like or subscribe button? I don't really care. It'd be appreciated though. I don't make any money anyway. So anyway, have a great day, you guys. And uh, this is Smarty Bros. I'm out.